How's it going guys and welcome back to the lair and today we're back in standard best of one uh, but before we get into it I just want to say if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe it's free to you and helps us out so much feel free to drop me a comment talk about strategy deck ideas misplays I read the comments daily and if you have any friends or family that are into magic please share the channel with them also don't forget once you have followed or subscribed on either my twitch or youtube channel just reach out to me in the chat of the comment and say something like hey I just followed or subscribed and I can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use to unlock a mystery gift from Wizard. So very excited to be able to offer that to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so yeah, let's hop into this. I call this one Realm Devourer. Um, we're in the Abzan color scheme, green, white, and black. However, we're splashing red for Valky. Or I should say Tybalt Cosmic Imposter. Um, and we're going to try something a little bit different today. Instead of me going over each individual card and reading it, I'm going to just go over the general strategy because a lot of you have been asking me to uh, simplify my uh, deck techs. Um, so we're going to try that. So yeah, the basic idea behind this deck is we want to get a Sorolf out and we want to control the game until we can run into our late game, which is Vorinclex. And then being able to double uh, the counters, we can ultimate Kaya immediately. We can ultimate, or I'm sorry, we can get to the second chapter of Elspeth, which is disgusting, destroy a creature, uh, go into their hand, and then the Binding of the Old Gods, destroy destroy target non-land permanent, and then pull a forest out. Um, so yeah, other than that, we control the game uh, with our Blood Chief's Thirst that can scale into destroying Planeswalkers. Everything, we have a Dream Devourer if we get. Uh, we can make all of our cards that don't have Fortel have Fortel. He also becomes pumped, so he can attack in. Valky, God of Lies, only as a two of. Um, the Planeswalker side, if you can cast them, is amazing, but usually nine times out of ten, you're going to play a Valky, and he's going to die immediately or right away on the next turn. Um, it, it can be valuable sometimes when you're playing him early game and you just want to see their hand because that's usually all the value you get. But sometimes, very, very rarely, you can play the Valky and get some benefit out of the creature side. But usually, we're just, we just have him in there for the, uh, the Planeswalker side. Maze Mind Tome is our card draw, uh, or I should say card advantage engine that eventually can help us stabilize with a little bit of life gain. Other than that, like I said, we're just trying to control the board. We have the full play set of Mythos of Nathroi, so we can destroy an online port permanence at instant speed. Uh, Poison the Cup is fantastic because we can foretell it. Even if we don't have a Dream uh, Devourer, we can foretell it anyways. And then when we do, we get that Scry, which is very beneficial. And then we have another full play set of the Binding of the Old Gods. Uh, for an uncommon, this, this card is retarded. Destroy target online permanent, helps us ram. Uh, the creature, the, the final chapter, gaining death touch is not really all that, but... Um, you know we're, we're more interested in the first two chapters but it can it can come into play if we have creatures on the board and then we also have blood in the snow because we're running so many snow covered uh, lands that we can should be able to get uh, value out of this um, to be able to wipe the board if it's planeswalkers heavy or creature heavy and then be able to recur some of our threats depending on what it is um, but yeah that's basically the deck we have a 3.4 converted monocost running 11 creatures, 2 planeswalkers, and 25 lands. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's hop into some games. Let's see how we do. Canuto. So we have a nice three lander here. We have a possible early turn Blood Chief's Thirst. We have a Sorolf. We have a Binding. We have a Vornclex. We'll keep this. Another. So we're going to go ahead and play out the Highland Forest first. So we have at least a green source. Um. If the opponent plays a creature that's worth killing, we'll use our Blood Chiefs, but... We shall see. Have a 40% chance to draw into a land. 
Okay, pass again. All right, we'll play our stove field sinkhole. in deep thought. Shark Typhoon. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. When I see blue-green unheld, I think it's in the flash. Um, let's attempt to get the Sorolf out there. Sorolf lands. Okay. Fabled Passage. Watch this. Up. Fire Prophecy, sure. Hey, if you want to waste it on that. Card doesn't get exiled, but he will get the benefit of if you do, you draw a card. Still doesn't want to do anything. We'll keep the Mithro Mythos. We'll play out the Elspeth. So that way at least we can get something out of his hand. Canuto. This is that Genesis Ultimate deck that we just played. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we take the Genesis. Um. It's not a good game yet, man. Uh. Well, I think we pass since we have. Uh, plenty of stuff to do. I'd be curious to see if he plays a, a beanstalk giant, though. Graveyard effect. I thought he was going to minus. I have greater matters to attend to. Hmm. All right. Well, let's move. Go to one plex. See if this uh, last card here is removal. Pwn doesn't have appear to have any type of way of card advantage at the moment, so we'll see if he slams through gold spam. That's not good. Cultivate, sure. Well we definitely want to get rid of Vorn or we definitely want to get rid of the gold span dragon. the value I was talking about, we instantly get to uh, search up a land. And 
and then we'll hold up. Now surely he's gonna play a beam stock. There we go. All right. Nice and slow for us. Perfect. Yep, he's a 10-10. Oh. I was like, how is he casting another beanstalk? Alright. So he is just, uh... So we'll cycle here. Poison the cup. Um... We'll kick this. We will foretell the poison the cup. And no, that that card draw could be beneficial. Not stop saying good game. Haven't won yet. <coughs> Him. That's what I'm talking about. Nice job. Thanks, man. It's a beautiful thing, my friends. It's a beautiful thing. And a mythic rare? What? When we're spinning my shoulder dies. And there's a battlefield or, or dies. I mean, I saw a charred creature from your graveyard when you could put one kind of. Angel's got so, so much beef in this in this uh, last set, right? That's how I feel. Mongoose. So we got a three lander here. We can do turn one in Dotha, turn two castle, at least play our Dream Devour or our Valky, depending on. Nah, I think we can keep this. So we'll play in Dotha turn one. It's like a Yorion deck. Ooh, Mardu. Devour. Watch your face, Bruce. What did you say, Daddy? I said, watch your face. My face isn't anywhere near Okay, I'm just saying. Valky? So, don't know if Valky is going to do much here. We can cast him, we can cast him. So we want to cast a, we want to foretell a bigger card, right? Okay. So we'll foretell the Binding of the Old Gods. Being able to cast this card for two is just ridiculous. play so roll he hasn't told anything so we get a doom scar 
There goes Sir Rolf. Put it in the work. the binding up, we got some instant speed removal. If Valky could hit any card, then I think the creature side of him would be, I mean, would be worth it, but it's just like, ugh, doom foretold. We don't like that card. We'll get rid of the Dream Devourer. Decline. Yeah, I'm going for five. Oof. Still has no cards foretold, so I think we're safe from a Doom Scar unless he has an untapped land. Like that. But, we have other ways of dealing with it. It's like a ball key, but doesn't really matter. Got him! Alright, well, that was a unexpected victory. Opponent had plenty of cards in his hand. I don't, couldn't imagine they were all, all garbage, but got him. Keep going. Let's keep it going. What's up? She's a bad girl. Poyut, Poyat. All right, so we got a nice three lander here. Um, early removal if we need it on turn two. Elspeth. Yeah, I guess we'll keep this. Castle Lock Queen. Sure. Um we still do Indafa here. Falling Barons. Looks like a uh, mono black control, but no snow. Okay, so he doesn't want me going in his hand, so is he playing Ugin? Um. Yeah. We'll foretell the poison. So at least we can get a scry on later on. You can also hit uh, the crawling barons too, which is good, good, good for me. Beth. Then we still have the, the poison. The poison available. Be careful of the Tigrid's Lantern. Okay, just plays another Elspeth, sure. Um. Comes with a plate tap. So, let's put the island out there. Hmm. Mon creature, right? If the job 
job is wrong, so I think, I think we it. take this. When I say go, you go. I mean, he sees my hand. <clears throat> Soul shatter, sure. Yeah, this definitely screams tag red mono black control. We can vor and collects. No blood in the snow coming. What's more important? I think we're just gonna do this. So we'll, and we'll hold up the poison. Another soul shatter, sure. So does that mean Ujin is coming? So we'll 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 still say poison. Another Kai is amazing, right here. So we do this. She's already at ultimate. Sure. She does draw a card. But we have it ready. So even if he exiles it with Vorinplex, we get it. Uh, yeah, sure. This is fragile. We have a Kaya in the graveyard, so it's still fine. What little you find. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, does that even affect them coming into the into play? Got to give them a heart for that. Wow. I did not realize Vortex did that too. So it it they get half the counters even playing planeswalkers. Don't mind if I do. Excuse me. Loving it. Alright. Let's keep it going. Take a quick break. Let's open up the pack. You know, we always got to open that pack up. Dragon King Berserker. I want to make something with this. It won't be typical mono red, trust me, but let's go mastery. Check this out real quick. Alright, Stalwart Valkyrie. Go ahead and get another Kaldheim pack here while we're, while we're here. Oh. Mm. We'll just get this Kaldheim pack. Pick up another rare wild. Fantastic. Another righteous Valkyrie. Alright, let's keep it going. Helen 340, our next opponent. Um, this looks a little bit too expensive for my taste. This looks much better. We'll just drop a Vorinclex. Keep. Drop a Vorinclex. We can turn one in Dotha, turn two Snow Covered, and then we'll drop the Dream Devourer. So, most valuable player is Finn, the Fang Bear, which we can see right here. 
areas. So we have to have to have to have to get rid of him. Well, the green is our Probably my new f most favorite. Morgar Morgrotha? Morgrotha. <laughs> Alright. So we got a three lander here. Uh Let's try it out. Gotta have some fun, right? Alright, so we'll play the sinkhole first. Um, I think we'll foretell the poison. Next turn we can at least Elspeth if they play something. Cultivate, okay. Play Temple. Indatha. I think Indatha's okay. Let's go ahead and play out Maze Mine. And we'll pass. Solemn. Okay, we'll scry. Actually, you know what? Let's put this in the bottom. get to draw a card, unfortunately. Jun, some type of Jun control. Okay. Well, we've got answers. So let's see if he plays Ugin. One more off from Ugin. Could play Tibble. One clicks. Actually, it's funny. I would prefer him to shut down my counters with this. Because we can just keep scrying for free. Um, Got to take, take out that Vorn Clex, right? No matter what. Yeah. Can't play both. Hmm. He hits planeswalkers. So we'll just destroy this. Get the scry. We don't need any more land. 
Um, I think we're good on the blood cheese too. Is that a mistake? I don't know. Tough one. Yep, and we'll just hold up what we got. Finding of the old gods, sure. Let's see what he hits. Probably the nightmare. Sure. I'm just gonna draw a card now. some type of other removal in his hand. Next turn he ramps. He's got to be ramping into Ugin, right? Hmm. I think we're just going to play out Sorol. And I think we're just going to foretell this. I think we'll pass. That was that, sure. So, Ugin's coming. We know Ugin's coming. Probably Ugin and Tibbles. Could be really Vivian, there's Ugin, sure. You can't make us all out of Maze Mind Tome, which is fantastic. That's fine with me, with we'll Scry. I uh, don't need a castle, don't need any more land. Hmm. Love that. Uh, I think we'll just, we have to kill the Ugin, right? And then, yeah, we'll just pass. There's no creatures to get any benefit from this. So, I feel decent about this sitch. Hmm. My turn? Oh, we're gonna spry. Don't need more land for sure. Vornclex is nice. Yeah. Just gonna get it out there. Kai is the most valuable here, so if he wants to remove it, that's fine. Sure. We have plenty of defensive spells in our own. Alright, let's place the roll here. Finding the old gods. Sure. Mm. Sure. Can't really take him out. He's just digging for more lands. Okay, that's something we want to kill. Double case, just go in. Mythos of Nithroi, sure. But Tubble. Could have a chance if he doesn't get anything hot. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. It would be cool if you stop killing this stuff. Right. Alright, let's think about High this. We definitely want to exile him immediately. The thing is, it's so nasty because they get the emblem. Alright, so now we have the poison effect. Sure. 
for our uh, friend here that he stole from my deck. More, more Gothra. Sure. No. I'm just gonna kill it. Sorry. Finding of the old gods. Born clips. He probably, he probably has. Mm. This is a tough one. I'm gonna put Vorinclex first because we have the Mythos. If he has another Ugin or Tibble. The Binding sure. I got too involved with locals. This this card is just so good. It's so good. And at uncommon too, you know. All right. Well. It is what it is. We're going in. We still have the myth mythos ready. Solemn? I could deal with that. Ugin? I was like, please stop. Alright, well. So we're going to do. do it like this. Four, five, six. So I think we'll take the uh, Indafa now. And we also have the Mythos. In case he wants to get frisky with an Ugin. Now that I know that when Vornclex comes into play, sure. And. A Clothus. Well, we will just kill you immediately. Got him! Got him! Love to see it. Vorinclex, man. I didn't know he even shut down, like... I mean, I guess it makes sense. They come in with a certain amount of counters or the planeswalkers. Disgusting. Alright, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps us out so much. Feel free to drop me a comment, talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily. And if you have any friends or family that are into magic, please share the channel with them. Also, don't forget, once you have followed or subscribed on either my Twitch or YouTube channels, just reach out to me in the chat of the comments. Say something like, hey, I just followed or subscribed. And I can respond to you with an in-game code that you can use in Arena to unlock a mystery gift from Wizard. So very excited to be able to offer that to you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.